Welcome back to Subject Online. It's me again, Sabit Christopher. Today I'm going to show you how you can unlock or unprotect a sheet where you have forgotten a password. Yeah, there may be a scenario you have locked your sheet not to be edited, like uh, what you see here. I can't edit anything on this dashboard. I can only select cells because I'm having that right, but I can't select any object that is on this uh, dashboard which means the owner has protected this dashboard for not everyone to edit it. Now, uh, me the owner, I come to unprotect the sheet. Uh, you find this in review, uh, then unprotect. But uh, when I try my password, uh, it tells me uh, the password you supplied is incorrect. Verify the caps lock and blah, blah, blah. The meaning is that I've forgotten the password. I've inserted the wrong password. How do you hack your own workbook to get a password you have forgotten or to remove a password you have forgotten? Stay on this video up to the end. I'm going to show you how you can hack and unlock your own workbook, which is uh, password protected. How do you do this? So uh, when you realize this sheet has three three sheets, uh, this workbook has three sheets. Uh, it is only one sheet that is protected. Uh, this one is fine. I can edit. Um, then even this for data is fine. I can edit. The only sheet that is protected that I can't do anything is the dashboard sheet. So you see, I can't do anything. So we need to unlock this, but I've forgotten my password. Okay, stay on. Uh, what do we do? I'll first close this. I'm not going to save. Okay, I can save. Uh, this is my workbook. Uh, it's good always to first create uh, a copy. So I'm creating a backup. So I'm going to deal with this. I can call it and protect uh, and protect. So uh, this is the sheet we are going to deal with. Uh, what do we do? The first thing is, uh, I will open this in, in a folder display such that it is clear for me. Now, when uh, we check, uh, it is having a file extension of XL, XLSX, uh, that is already Excel. So what we do, we have to change, I'm going to change uh, this file extension, then I first make create a file as a zip. Uh, if you can't see the file extension, you go to view, then there is file extension names here. You'll have to see that. Then uh, it has disappeared, but uh, I, I want to show the file extension because I need it. So this is it. So this is the file I'm dealing with. So I will rename this and remove the file extension. Uh, call this zip. So the moment you uh, rename the file extension to zip, that is one way you can corrupt your own file. But we already know what we are doing. What we are doing, we are trying to uh, hack our own workbook to remove the password. So if you change the file extension, the file might become unstable or unusable or corrupt. So I would say yes, because I know what I'm doing. Now, automatically, if you have, uh, if you have a, uh, 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 an application, the zip application, uh, like you check my icon, a icon changes to zipped application. So uh, we are going to open this. So the moment, the moment I open my file, uh, this time it is having many other folders and extension. What I'm focused on is the XL. So when you open the XL, we shall find uh, we are having a folder for worksheets. So you see that uh, when you change this, everything is splitted, slicers, tables, and pivot tables, and everything. So we are looking at worksheets. We assume we have three worksheets, but we don't know which worksheet are we dealing with. So I'm going to first uh, shift these worksheets in. So we have to open the worksheets in Excel, uh, XML. That is, uh, you open this with, uh, if you have uh, Internet Explorer, it can open this by default. So when you double click, open through the browser. So when you check the browser, it may, may, it may uh, you may see something that what you don't understand. There is a lot of coding, but ideally, this is what is in our Excel everything so uh, what we are looking for is uh, where there is a protection so I will search for protect 
this one has no protect which means this is not the file that is uh, is protected i will go and look for the second oh the browser is closed so, just a moment so this is the second control find that's for protect still this one has no file for this is not the sheet so we go to the third one Perfect. so uh, when you check this, you see it is a sheet protection algorithm name and all the other bits. So this is exactly uh, the code we are supposed to get rid of. The moment you get rid of this, then you're good to go. So how do you get rid of this? I'm going to open this file uh, using the notepad. So we have already realized that uh, uh, sheet number three is the sheet we are looking for. So we'll minimize this. Now open this in I will create a I will create a copy. So everything we are doing, you you will check that we are creating a copy because the office of the first lady in this country is a public okay. I'll first create a backup, so I'll copy this and put it on desktop. So here it is. So here it is. So I will open this in a notepad. So I'll open my notepad and drag this and drop. Then Control F, I find for protect. So here is the protect, uh, the protect line. So sheet protect. So where it starts opening, we are going to select that slowly until you reach or you get to where the tag is closing from. So I will follow up this, not until I reach here. This is where it is closing from. So I'll get rid of this line. Save. After saving, uh, then in our zipped file, we are going to delete uh, sheet number three. Then we can replace it with the new sheet, which we have changed. Okay. Then after replacing this, I can close this one. Go back now to my folder that is on desktop, obviously. Now the protected sheet, which is this, I will this time change it back from zip to XL start. So when I enter, it still tells me that you're going to make it unstable. Yes, it will change back to a sheet. So when you open this, you realize that uh, we have, uh, we are going to check whether we have successfully uh, hacked out the protection password so as it opens uh, please uh, consider subscribing if you're finding this content useful and uh, don't forget to hit a like button and leave us a comment in case you need something else from us so now this is our third sheet that is the dashboard which we are sure of that we have removed the protection and we are going to test it together so after it has opened so when I check now, you see I can interact. I can even do changes directly. So uh, you check. I can now change it. So that is it, guys. Thank you for being with me up to the end of this video. Please consider subscribing. Hit that bell and leave us a comment. Meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.